Greetings. I'd like to do a demo of the Randall RD1C 1 watt combo amplifier. This is an amplifier that is uh, designed uh, allegedly by Mike Fortin of Fortin Amplification who has recently went to work for Randall uh, and is responsible for many of their new products lines as of the last couple of years. So uh, this is a small practice amplifier but I think this amp is very versatile. Uh, there's a lot of things this amp has that a lot of the other small amplifiers don't. Um, including amps like the Blues Junior and some of those. I think that there's, you know, some things missing there. But anyways, what's cool about this amp is, yes, it has a very tiny 8-inch speaker, which isn't really that great. But what's cool about it is, is that it's versatile enough that you can go and jam on the back porch or in the living room. But then, uh, if you want to go into your practice space or, or, or music room, as long as you don't have a drummer there, you'll be pretty satisfied with the tones you get out of this thing. So, um, I'll go over the features real quick. Uh, like I said, it's a 1 watt amp. And I'll go to the back first. Uh, on the back, you have an effects loop. You also have a ground lift, which I've never had to use because this thing doesn't really get very noisy for a really, really high gain amp. That's, that's one thing that I think Randall does very well is uh, they, they're doing something to their circuits uh, to where you don't get a lot of noise like you do in some of the other amps. Uh, there's also a XLR uh, speaker emulated out. There's also a speaker out, uh, 8 ohms, as well as a mute button which defeats the speaker with a dummy load uh, when you want to go direct. Uh, on the top here you'll see uh, your input. There's also a gain tone or volume as expected and also a TSS switch, uh, which is tone stack shift, which is pretty much like if you were to go to other amplifiers, we would be calling it maybe ISF or uh, morph or contour. And it basically just affects the mid range and humps it or scoops it or makes it flat. So um, for this demo, I'll also be using a uh, pretty much just the silencer and the uh, flashback uh, delay, maybe. Also a 4x12 cab that we will try out that 8 ohm output with. And a Agile AL2000 with Tone Rider Alnico 4 Classic pickups. I do have a higher gain uh, guitar there with Black Winners in it, but uh, I don't really think this amp needs that. Uh, typically they say High gain amp, regular pickups, or regular amp, high gain pickups. So uh, I'm going to kind of stick with that. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll see what we got. This is with everything on 12. The tone stack is in the middle position. I'm going to turn it up a little bit for you. it's like um, in the middle position pretty much. Now if we want to get something clean we're gonna have to take the gain all the way down and the volume all the way up and you can see that that's still a little dirty uh, so I'm gonna switch to the neck pickup which is gonna be a little bit less hot can see that it doesn't do clean very well so if that's what you want you're going to want to get yourself a blues junior so if i go back now i can uh
So it has varying levels of gain, but what it does most is Randall gain. <laughs> so here's that. I actually don't like that too much. Um, I'm going to show you, here's what it's like in the uh, mid-humped phase. Alright, so now here we are scooped. And here we are, humped again. So you can see it, it does something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the uh, external uh, 4x12 cab, which actually, to be honest with you, this is a stereo cab, and I'm actually only using two of the speakers, so maybe I should say 2 by 12 So, here we are now. I think I may have to, uh, I think I have to turn up the volume a little bit on this because, I guess, driving larger speakers and more of them. <laughs> on the camera but I find I need to turn the the uh, uh, tone up a little bit uh, to get a little bit more treble back because I believe these uh, Bugera speakers are a little muddy some people say so it kind of depends upon what you're looking for um, but if you want to do metal then uh, you may want to get something different than Bugera in my opinion but for the price I paid for them I can't really complain so, um, so this is, like I said, this is a gain all the way up, and this is the tone stack in the middle. So as you can see, that's pretty cool. This would be the lead mode uh, with the mids humped. I guess this would be kind of... Uh, maybe more martial like so here it is uh, scooped out so, in my opinion, I think that if you had a uh, 5150 or something in that range uh, at your practice speed, at your practice space, or over at your buddy's house that you take to gigs and stuff, I don't see any reason why you couldn't uh, take this amp here, which is 300 new. Uh, you could probably get it for less than 200 new, and then you can get a cheap cab, or, I mean, I'm sure you could get uh, a 1 by 12 or something like that, uh, relatively cheap, that basically under 300 bucks, you could have yourself uh, a practice rig at home. Uh, I mean, if you didn't have a lot of, if you don't like your dirt from pedals, uh, and if you didn't want, um, you know, a super big setup at home, I think this would do you pretty well. Um, here it is with a little bit of uh, delay.
you go. Um, I think for uh, for the money, I think this would be a great uh, practice rig for uh, for anybody, um, even professionals. I think that those. Uh, I'm a big fan of Randall solid state amps. Uh, I have one. Uh, here's the proof. Uh, I have a, uh, a Randall solid state amp and I really like them. Uh, but I tell you what, I think that the, uh, the work that Mike Fortin's doing and the tubes that are in this, uh, really, really do metal really well. I, I generally don't feel as though, uh, tubes really give, uh, metal amplifiers as much as if you were using it for hard rock or blues or something. I think in those kind of scenarios, you pretty much have to have a tube amp. But for metal amps, you don't always have to. I mean, Randall makes some really good uh, solid state stuff, um, as well as many others. Uh, but I think that uh, this this thing here just works. And I actually took it into the living room when my wife was gone a couple days ago and, and just jammed out at very, very quiet volumes. Um, you might be surprised. I mean, I mean this thing... This thing sounds killer at very, very low, low volumes. Uh, let me see if I can... Uh... Well, I guess it wouldn't be fair if I left the cab plugged in. So... So, if I turn the volume down, now at this here, I can talk over it, and uh, I guess your wife could talk over it too. She'd love that. So, like I said, I think that this uh, is a pretty awesome amplifier for how much you'd pay for it. So, um, if you're interested, I would I would highly recommend it. I've had I bought and traded a lot of gear, uh, not really very much high end stuff. But if you're on a budget, and like I said, you you can't afford two fifty one fifties, I think this would be a good choice uh, for your home studio. So, anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and have a great day.